Hi there, I'm Hope with Health to Beauty Nails, and today I'm gonna to show you how I like to reduce corns using my e-file and a bit. Make sure you like and subscribe, and let's just jump right into it. So before I show you how I like to reduce corns, let's talk about what a corn actually is. So as you can see here, right here is where the corn is. And a corn is a way that our body protects itself that can sometimes be not very helpful because they can be very painful. And they are caused by friction as well as pressure, which is often caused by ill-fitting shoes and the skin will start to become extremely hardened and keratinized in a little kind of central point like that. So that's what we're gonna to reduce today to give this client a little bit of relief. So to start, I'm just using a small sand cap. Uh, I believe this grit was about 150, and I'm just starting by gently exfoliating that hardened callus and that corn a little bit. This is just kind of getting the process started and kind of softening everything up a little bit. I'm doing this totally dry, but you could also use callus softener if you prefer. And again, just smoothing, exfoliating. And then I start to use the tip of this cap to start to gently kind of exfoliate that hardened area. We want to reduce that very hardened keratinized center point because that is what is painful. So just kind of tapping the head of the sand cap in there starts to really reduce that area. I'm then gonna go in with a smaller spherical carbide bit and I'm just gently kind of tapping that right where that hardened, hardened skin is. And I'm changing my angle. You want to get all areas because that will help to exfoliate the maximum amount, the full amount of that dead skin there. And look how satisfying. It's just kind of flying right out of there. My goal is to create a sort of kind of cavern almost. The hardened keratin can go very deep. I'm working within my scope and just gently exfoliating that dead skin. I'm not using a blade. I'm not cutting or going too deep. If my client tells me that things start to get sensitive, that's absolutely a moment that I would stop and just move on to whatever else I'm doing in my service. Here I changed to an even smaller carbide so I could be even more detailed and precise and get that little last deep area of very hardened skin. Getting in there will really help to alleviate a lot of that pressure. If you've ever seen those corn band-aids that are basically circles with an opening in the center, that's basically what we're doing here. We're creating kind of an opening there to reduce that painful pressure. Then I'm going in and I'm just smoothing everything out with a diamond bit just to make sure that nothing is catching, there's no loose bits of skin or anything like that, and just finish up the exfoliation of this area. I then decided that I wanted to go in one more time with that really teeny tiny carbide just to finish it out, get anything left in there. I always like to err on the side of caution and being gentle. So this was my first time working on these corns, so I didn't want to go too far. Now moving over to the other foot, you can see we have the same spot of corn happening. So clearly there's something going on with the gait of this client and his shoes. You can see to start, I was trying to stay in frame and make a good angle for you and everything. So I, you can tell that I'm not bracing my e-file hand here. You always want to brace your hand for proper control so nothing gets away from you. So I go ahead and brace. And again, I'm just starting by exfoliating the general area. Then I'm starting to kind of tap that corn specifically. And now we'll take a kitty intermission. Now I'm going back in with my first carbide. It's slightly larger, but it is smaller than that sand cap. And I'm just going in, changing my angle, making sure that I'm getting all that dead, hard skin. Finally, I go in with that even smaller spherical carbide and just finish up any last little bits that I need to get. Using my 
diamond bit just to smooth everything out to finish. And I'm using my thumb just to feel the area, make sure everything's nice and smooth. There, I was just checking it out. I could tell that there was a little bit left in there that I wanted to get. So I went back to that super teeny tiny carbide. And don't be afraid to get your other bit back in there. If you see something that you wanna get, just pop that bit back in, get that last little teeny tiny bit. Then to finish, I'm using Gelwall's Fluid. This is an amazing oil product. It is really excellent for soothing cranky bits. So corns, if you get ingrown nail sensitivity, even if you have a bug bite, it soothes and reduces inflammation. And this is an excellent, excellent product to finish off your corn treatment with, as well as for the client to take home for retail. So if they're struggling with corns or anything that is chronic like that, give them fluid. It's amazing and will go a long way in keeping the cranky bit a little bit at bay. So here's your before and after photos. You can see in this before photo, that hardened keratin that's almost poking out from the skin. And then we've just reduced it and created a little bit of a cavern there to help alleviate some of that pressure. Thanks so much for tuning in and remember to subscribe and I will see you next time.